Hi beautiful people, welcome back to Kids Watch Your Girl K okay? and today your girl is in the good book of the Lord. Um, <laughs> we in the word, we back, we back with Jesus. And um, if you are new, welcome. If you are old, you already know, we back. <laughs> um, but today I was re just recapping things I read and then we'll talk about it and discuss it and do all that fun stuff. Anyway. So today I was reading Mark 1 and um, verses 42 to 45. So um, the story of the leper um, that Jesus heals, you know, homeboy was like, I'm ill. Jesus was like, I got you. Anyway, <laughs> so I was reading the scripture and um, basically just talking about how the leper approached Let's read the chapter first. You know what? Let's do that. Okay. ESV version for those that don't know. And a leper came to him, imploring him, and kneeling, and kneeling, said to him, he said to Jesus, If you will, you can make me clean. Um, and if 41 moved with pity, he stretched out he, Jesus, stretched out his hand and touched him, him, leper, and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. And Jesus sternly charged, sternly guys, keyword listen. And Jesus sternly charged him and sent him away at once. And said to him, see that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof, for proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town but at, but was out in the desolate places and people were coming to him from every quarter. Okay, so let's unpack the text. Leper approaches Jesus. Um, he's like, yo man, I know you got power. Heal a girl. Um, <laughs> I mean heal a man. Um, because before this, um, Jesus had been healing already, so he'd been seen healing, um, ooh, healing people, and he'd also been taking um, unclean spirits, so demons out of human beings, and um, so he's now already got a reputation in town for being a very powerful um, rabbi, so very powerful teacher, um, and so of course the leper would have heard um, the stories and when he met Jesus or saw Jesus he would have known like this man has power that no other teacher, Sadducee, Pharisee, whatever has and he can heal me. So he had already the faith and the hope um, in Jesus Christ to heal him um, which is something sometimes we are lacking just then you know. When we go to him we asking half half prayers like one of those like I know you can do it but can you really pray? Yeah, so we need to be like this man and just come full boldly like they do say in the scripture come boldly So um, he came boldly to the Lord and he's like if it is your will You can and you will <laughs> You can heal me basically he's saying um, You can make me clean and then of course Lord and the Lord Jesus is moved with pity and switches his arm and touches him like hey man I got you and um, and he makes him clean so um, of course cleanses him this is an old old story but you know rephrasing it um, immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean this is the part that gets me okay so in verse 43 so Jesus tells the man homeboy you clean you healed you're good to go right don't tell nobody I did miracle on you just go go on your way go to the priest go to the synagogue do what you need to do as a cleansed man because it would probably be the first time he can actually go back in the synagogue since having leprosy because the um people with leprosy or any skin disease were actually cast out um yeah so he was allowed to go into he's like okay go in go go give your offering which you haven't been able to do for god knows how many years um and live on your way like live on your best life be your goods so and the thing is like my keyword here is sternly i don't know if it is the same in every version but um and it's sternly charged him so basically he's commanded him or told him he's ordered him like a parent like i told you you're gonna pick up that toy and you're gonna do it now and the <laughs> i'm sorry i'm making myself laugh but um not to take a joke out of the story um my basically is what he said he's told him he gave him instruction go do what i said you do and you know we gucci but then um homeboy being human and um not good with the ears 
um, did the opposite. He told everybody. He went around. What did he say? What did he say? Um, um, he went and began to talk freely. So he, it wasn't even like he even tried to stop her. Like he didn't even try to stop himself. Like, oh yeah, it's a secret. No, she told. No, no, no. He went. Everybody come listen like that's how free he was um to tell everybody about what um jesus has done and he spread spread the news like it just word of mouth just went um but then it made me realize as well like if someone had to do a miracle like okay just think about it. okay so one minute you ill next minute you pray healed right you're gonna tell somebody you ain't just gonna keep quiet like knowing i wouldn't you see my big mouth no um so i would i would be this guy <laughs> sad as it is um i would be this guy because i would probably have i would have told at least three like at least your close friend you see you could have done at least his close friends no he went and told a plethora of people um and which made the ministry of Jesus ministry a bit harder because now it was the fact that he couldn't even go into the cities because everybody knew who he was before he could actually maneuver around and just be a free human being like be free to be able to talk like personally like this or this is not personal but you know what I mean like talk one-on-one -on -one with people to meet people one-on-one -on -one and um, without interaction interactions from interruptions from others now because the man has spoken to the whole world um, he couldn't do that now, so now he had to be working or doing his ministry and serving outside of the cities in desolate places. But what I find so mir miraculous and so beautiful about this is that the fact that even when he can't come in, guess who follows? Peoples. Um, and it's just the fact that no matter where Jesus is, his presence is so powerful that you are just naturally drawn to him. You you need to be where he's at, basically, is what it's saying. Is that even though he couldn't come to the, into the cities because one, he'd probably be hammered by heaps of people and then only that, like, officials would be like, what's happening? And that would bring more tension, negative tension to his ministry. Um, if he was outside and people were following him, it's not like the, the authorities come for him because it's like, they're not on your land. Um, so yeah, it, he, him being away was probably beneficial anyway um, in the long term. <laughs> um, and it just showed that how... how um, yearning the people were for to get to know who this person was to get to know his teachings to get because he had been already teaching before this um but to get to know his teaching to get to know who this man jesus is that that is making miracles removing demons like they want they wanted to know um and they would go wherever he is like they would go where he calls like you know what i'm saying it's it's a matter of fact that if he was there okay like if he came back you know i'm i'm going but anyway <laughs> um if it was in today's world like if you think about it like we go to okay it's like the beyonce came down right everybody if you can afford the tickets would jump and go so it's a matter of fact that like, jesus was there and they knew they could reach him and they could talk to him and just to be in interaction around him you're gonna be there you're gonna want to know who this man is um so yeah, and I think we should even if even if he's not physically here, we should have the same yearning for him as in um, we hearing, we reading his stories, we see what he can do, we hearing what he's doing in other people's lives around us. You want to know that guy. You want to know who's this guy that they're praising. You want to know who's this Jesus that they're talking about so highly. Like I, I want to know. I'm like, so how do you afford a million dollar house and um, a luxury car? And yesterday you were broke. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Stories like that where you're like, I need to know what they're feeding off. I need to know what, what water they're drinking from. Live, living water. Um, but yeah, so it's like, we should have the same yearning. We should go out and we should search. We should read books. Like, if, if, especially for people that don't know who Jesus is and don't even know where to start. Start searching. Okay? Like, it is one of those things like, one person going to have a Bible. If hotels always have a Bible in their cupboards, somebody going to have a Bible. Um, but yeah, so I'm saying like, have, go and find the book, go, go, internet, you've got a little bit plethora of information online, um, get a book, um, read a, read a book, Some ask someone to, I know nowadays we can't go to church, but online churches saving lives, um, but yeah, doing things like that where, 
um, we are still going to find out who this person is. It might not physically be the person in front of us, um, as these people had the privilege to have, but we can still search for Jesus in the little things. And if that's waking up in the morning, just be like, hey God, hey Jesus, hello. Like, you know, just, 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 that, just that connection is like acknowledging him and letting him know that you are here and you're looking for him and wanting to see him more in yourself and in, in your life. Um, but yeah, that's a scripture, get a wise. <laughs> um but yeah i thought it should be something to be shared it's from yeah from for me to you so you know um but if you have not read the story and um would like to it is in mark 1 verse 40 to 45 it's something small it's small stories um and i know they get fleshed out more in different um books but um I'm going back into the scripture to learn more about the man up above so um, you can join me around the journey and we'll know him together how about that um, but yeah guys hope you like this video comment down below if you like this video if you want me to dive into any other scripture and um, give you the translation version of Master <laughs> Um, yeah, if you like this video, comment down below, give us a thumbs up down below as well. And um, I believe that's all. We shall see you in the next video um, when you see me. <laughs> in other words, guys, um, God bless and love you so much. Bye.